What's good, what's good, what's good, YouTube, you know who it is, you know, city guys in the building, ain't shit, ain't shit. Um, today I'm gonna do, like, two tutorial requests. Um, I got a request from The Prince Beats and one from Jamero Music. So, first thing first, I'm gonna go off of The Prince's request. So, I'm gonna go over... You know what I'm saying? Creating melodies and stuff like that. Going over creating. You know what I'm saying? Like that happy melody or that money type of vibe. So I'm just going to get into it right here real quick. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget though. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe after you watch this video. And stuff like that. So what I want to do first. I'm going to pull up a scale. Let me set my BPM to 102. Right, so I'm going to pull up a scale. And, you know, there's different ways you can actually do this. You can do this by either clicking on the stamp icon right here. You know what I'm saying? Choose a scale. Or you can just go here. Click on this little icon right here. Go to the, you know, where is that? Go to helpers, scale highlighting, and then you choose. And then you choose a root note. But for this one, I'm just going to go with this right here. So I'm just going to choose the minor Aeolian and I'm going to put that on A sharp minor. And I'm going to set it right here. So this would be A sharp minor. That would be A sharp minor right there. Now I'm going to choose a sound. Um, I'm going to choose maybe Massive X. Pluck strings. This one is a stock preset for Massive X. And I'm going to choose a wooden string. Let's see what I come up with on this one. Oh, I haven't fully set this out yet. Sorry. All right, now that's um now that's settled. I'm gonna go ahead and create the melody that I want. So, like to create the happy vibe, like you do know, like if you want that dark type of vibe and you're creating that dark beats, you normally would go like in the harmonic minor scale or you choose a minor scale, but a specific root note. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, major is more of a happy type and minor is more of that, you know, sad, dark, mellow vibe, you know. But for this one, I just choose A sharp minor. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to use this scale to see if I can come up with a happy vibe. All right, let me see what I got. Also, don't forget to, like, cut your velocities down a little bit. Sometimes using, like, certain presets, you got to, like, cut the velocity down. Makes it sound a little bit better and easier when it comes down to the whole mixing and stuff. That's not the vibe I'm looking for. Hold on. This is about messing me up.
Yeah, you can do like a little shortcut, cut short notes. I call them my cut short notes. You can use your cut short notes right here to layer a little, you know what I'm saying, a little spaz to the chord progression. You know what I'm saying? Give it a little melody there. Actually helps you to create some addition to it. So that's like that's the first um, chord progression right there, with a little melody to it. And what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna try an inversion technique to see, you know, what I'm saying to give a different feel to it. So I'm gonna just go down a bit. That's just most of it to just creating like that happy type of vibe, you know what I'm saying? That money type of vibe. Unless you want to go like to that trappy trap dancehall type money vibe, you know, you're going to have to go with that dark vibe. You know what I'm saying? saying like there are many different ways where you can actually you know create that type of vibe you know Like, that's another way you can create the type of vibe. Like, the easiest way is to just use the, the scales that come with FL Studio. Just use the melodic scales and just, like, go off of it. But also, like, you got to, you know what I'm saying, work off of chord codes. You feel me? Work off of chord codes. Because I even have this, um, where is that? Let me go for it. I even have this picture right here. You know, because sometimes I do go over these chord codes sometimes, but not all the time. But, you know, I just work with what's what. You can either start from zero or one. Because if you check this out right here, say, for example, I started from zero. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, there's no right here. It'd probably just be zero. So once using the scale, like, say, for example, I'll put it right back down here. Because A sharp is within the scale. Because it's A sharp minor, right? So it's like zero, one. Two, 
three. So that's zero, three, four, five, six. So that's zero, three, seven, right? That's zero, three, seven. If you're gonna use one, that will be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that'd be like one, one, four, eight. But it's zero, you gotta start from though. Don't really use one, it's zero. I think major, you start from one and minor, you start from zero. I don't remember fully of all of these, but there's like a different spins or trick to it that you can use and just, you know what I'm saying, create your, your scale. Like if you wanna go like the minor seventh chord or major seventh chord, you know, you do like, for example, zero, one, two, three. Right, so this is like zero, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what I'm saying? Right there in that eight, nine, ten. So right there, that's like a whole different thing. You know what I'm saying? But like there are different spins to it, there are different tricks to it. Like you just gotta understand it. I myself don't don't really understand the whole number system like that. You know what I'm saying? I still be on practice for that, but I just work off for how I feel when I'm creating these files and stuff like that. Now, um that's it for the request for the Prince Beats. Now I'm gonna go over the mixing tutorial, the stock plugins, and beat arrangement in details, along with effects transition and creating snare rolls, which is a request from Jamero Music. So I'm gonna pull up the beat that I've made before. Um, I'm not gonna use a trash beat. I'm gonna use a beat that I made recently. All right, so this beat, I made this beat recently. It's called Panamera. I'm going to let y'all hear what I got so far in this beat. If y'all haven't check, checked it out yet on my YouTube, but I'm going to play it so y'all can hear it from here. what I'm gonna let y'all hear so far and as you can like as you listen to it and you can hear how clean that mix is how clean that master is you know what I'm saying like that's that's the whole vibe to it now first thing first I'm gonna go over the whole the mixing that I use I'm gonna explain how I do it like for the first thing I use the wood strain so it's out it's from massive x and without the whole effects on it, this is what it sounds like. You know what I'm saying? But because it's all, like because it already has reverb to it, I don't really add reverb to it because it, the plugin already has reverb on it. But it sounds good. I don't really take it off. So I lower my volume for it. And even when you're creating the melody or creating a chord progression, sometimes you can lower these right here. The velocity, lower the velocity, and if you notice, I use the inversion technique. That's why you tend to see it look like this. You know what I'm saying? It goes from here to that. That's why it look like that. So I lower it, and I added parametric EQ to it, and I just cut off. You know what I'm saying? Cut out the whole sub and the whole bass feel out of it, right here, all the harshness out of it. Give it that soft feel to it. It's not really that that soft because you're gonna want a little of that other edginess to it. And you just want to cut it down a little bit. So it sounds like this after I do that. You know what I'm saying? Without it, it sounds real harsh. You know what I'm saying? And loud. Feel me? Now, the next thing I use as Universe X. It's a synth. It's an ambient synth from Massive X also. I mostly use, I've been using Massive X like crazy recently. You know what I'm saying? But for this sound, it already has a reverb on it. And one thing. Once you have like a good sound selection, you good. If it sounds good, it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? Once you like good once you have good sounds and it sounds good, you don't have to like be going all crazy with the whole mix and stuff like that. You're not mixing vocals, man. You're just mixing sounds, instruments and shit like that. 
like with this type of sound, this ambient type of feel, and all. when mixing these type of feel, like I don't really take much out of it. I just added like a low pass filter. And if it's like right click here, go and type low pass and just, you know what I'm saying? Take out a little bit and just, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's like that. And it sounds good because it already has reverb to it, so I don't really have to add anything to it. And so these both sounds sounds good together once you mix it right. You know what I'm saying? Once you do that, it sounds good together because you don't want your sounds to be clashing or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So next thing I did now, I added the strings to it. This string was from a one-shot kit. You know what I'm saying? The string was from a one shot kit. And you'll probably be wondering why my strings sound like that. Because this string is a whole different type of string. It's a one shot string. And most of the sounds that I use is trap sounds. So y'all can go to grab some trap sounds. That's the best way right now. Ain't nobody going with them boo boo sounds. You know what I'm saying? You need them trap sounds. So it's the same that I did with the strings inversion technique as before with the first thing. And I just added to it. And you know what I'm saying to give it that harsh sound, it sounds good. Uh, everything sounds good with it. You know what I'm saying? That type of feel sounds good. And what I did was just added parametric EQ to it. I did the same, cut off the whole sub right here and stuff like that. You don't really have to do much to it, just that. You know what I'm saying? If you want, if you want to add reverb to it, cool. But it sounds, but that sound already sounds good. I don't have to add any reverb to it. If you want to add reverb, you can use like the fruity reverb tool that comes with FL Studio. You you push the size up full to 100%, cut the wetness down a little bit, and you know what I'm saying? You can adjust the high cut and low cut. And you're good, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I don't really have to add that to it, but for you, you can if you want to. For the snare now, Sounds good already. I got it out of my drum kit. It sounds good already. I don't have to add anything to it or cut anything on that. Once you have a good sound and snare or clap, you don't have to add anything else to it more than just lower the volume for it when you're going through the whole mixing process. Just lower the volume. You don't have to add anything to it. If you're going to add a reverb to it, you just do the same thing. Put the size of the, size, the room size at 100 and you push the I cut to like 7.3 hertz or, you know what I'm saying, however you feel comfortable and lower the reverb down to like 5 or so. You know what I'm saying, it, it sounds okay, but I don't really want it on it. Because, you know, other sounds are going to have reverb on it, other snares and stuff like that. Now, when you're mixing, now I'm going to 808. I'm going to let y'all hear what this 808 sounds like because it's good. saying and if you have your headphones on you can hear the panning with the 808 slides if these slides right here you can just use this icon you know what i'm saying or you can just double click on a note and just bam activate the slide right there but in order for this to slide it has to be either above a note or below the note but you got to set it at you know what i'm saying at a specific point on the note so you get that crazy slide you know what i'm saying when I'm mixing my 808 i just cut out the whole mid section here high mid and everything on this side right here and just keep everything in the section plane. Get that bassy feel. And if you want to add more like a bass vibe or sub vibe to your 808, you just move the number one band up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to. Because, you know what I'm saying, after mastering and everything, it's going to sound good. And I added this um, fast distortion to it. It's a stock plugin, so y'all can use that. And I just to mix it. I put it on B. B sounds more better. The distortion type B sounds more better than A, so I just set it to B. Adjust the mix, the post gain, threshold. I don't trouble the the, 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 the preamp right here. Just mostly that for the 808. And I know y'all see this knob going up and down right here. It's like a side chain to the kick. And I'm going to get there shortly. So I'm going to pull up the next snare. Sounds good. As usual, once the sound sounds good, you don't have to do nothing to it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do nothing to it. Just lower the volume. 
and you're good. If it sounds too harsh to you, you just grab one, just grab a parametric EQ. You know what I'm saying? What the heck? Oh, you just grab a parametric EQ like this, man. You just cut off a little bit right here. Does sound good. You know what I'm saying? Feel me now for the kick. I don't have to do nothing to the kick. Once you have a hard sounding kick, you got a good sounding kick, also, you ain't got to do nothing to it. Lower the volume. That's all you got to do. What I did to sidechain it with my 808, I added a, the Fruity P controller and I copied the, the, the 808 volume right here and I pasted it on the bass right here. This, after it's in sync and um, sidechained to one another. You, this is the vibe. This one, this is the knob that's going to control the 808 volume like this. You know what I'm saying? That's the knob that's going to control it. You're not controlling it from here anymore. And you adjust the tension and decay because you don't want to have that. When it, when it dip, you don't want to have that dipping sound. You're going to hear the, the 808 or the kick cuts, cuts out and you're going to hear that dipping sound. So you adjust the volume and stuff like that. Here, I just have like the bell. Bell sounds good. I have to add nothing to it. Lower the volume. Simple as that. I'm going over to my vocals. For this, I just cut it out. I got a few vocal samples that I downloaded. So I cut that little part out of what I got. And you know what I'm saying? Add reverb to it. Not much. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't really do anything with a high cut. I just raised the, the room size. 100% and just set the wetness to 28 and then I added free delay to it which is a stock plugin with FL Studio I just uh, this is the the stock timing that you'll see on it when you open delay you don't have to you don't have to do anything to this you ain't got to touch it adjust the, the input wetness right here and once you this right here is like a panning vibe that get the delay bounce from ear to ear it sounds good it gives it also makes it as that um that stereo vibe so you adjust this, you good. Leave this right here, steer right here, and you're good. And adjust the level right here, the feedback level, and you're good. All right, that's a good sounding open hatch right there. It's like an open crash and stuff like that. So sounds good. I ain't got to add nothing to it, no reverb, no nothing. It's already good, and you're good. You know what I'm saying? That's a key to mixing. Once you're mixing, once you have good sounds, you ain't got to overwork or overkill yourself cutting this out, cutting that out. Like You're going to find yourself having a bad mix. And you know what I'm saying? Adding stuff that's not really necessary and wasting your time when you can finish that up and be on another beat. Like for this, this already sounds good. This sound is the Midnight Synth from GMS. Like GMS is a stock plugin. Y'all, y'all underrated plugin. Like this plugin right is is the key to, to some of them ambient sounds too. Some of them synthetic vibes. You feel me? For this sound, it sounds good. I didn't add nothing to it. You just leave it right there. That's just the key to everything. Once you got good sound, don't really mess with it. Just use what you got, lower the volume. Now for the hi hats, you're gonna have to, you know what I'm saying, cut off a few. But what I did was I just lowered the seventh band on the parametric EQ down like this, and I took the number six one up and take off a little bit on the high mid, give that a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, that vibe. And add a reverb to it and cut the witness down to like five because you don't want the whole because the high hats has that harsh tune, you want everything to be too loud. What you can also do, <clears throat> you can also set the pitch right here to like 300 cents or 200, however you want your high hats to play, and it still sounds good. You know what I'm saying? But whichever you choose, because you gotta see you gotta utilize what you got with FL Studio. Now for the open, this is the open hatch I have right here. Uh, for this one, what I actually did for this one, I set the length to 50% because it was like this. I don't want the soft side, so I just like, you know what I'm saying? Keep the harsh side, set it to 50. You know what I'm saying? Leave it right there. And what I did was I adjust this. I tuned the open hatch, just like how you tune your 808s. Sorry I didn't go on that part first, but you do the same thing 
how you tune in anyways. You just gotta make sure you get this little square envelope. You just know so you just know that um you fill the whole knob right up. All these you take them off and you're good. And I just added the parametric EQ. You know what I'm saying cut these ends off a little bit on the high band, like high mid frequency right there, and take it up a little bit and added a reverb and cut it down. And that's it. Now the snare roll. Alright, the snare roll. I'll be getting requests and people be asking how you create your snare rolls and stuff like that. Now for the snare rolls, there's no really big trick or big thing to it. You feel me? Like you wanna get like decent snare rolls like this. It's easier like you switch the grid to like one third beat. If you notice when you switch to one third beat, everything is in within the grid. That's how you create your snare roll. You adjust it like this, it steps down. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is just switch it to one third beat, the grid to one third beat. Set your snare roll like this, and you put it back to six step. You're good. This is what it sounds like, too. And I also pan it. So it sounds good, you know what I'm saying, beating from one ear to the next when using the headphones or speakers. All right, this is a transition that I use. You know what I'm saying? It sounds good with the whole beat. You know what I'm saying? It goes good with the whole beat. For the transition section, I can't really give you like, I don't really know what to say about the transition. You just have to like, you have to know the type of transitions that you want in your beat that you feel. You feel me? Like you gotta just download some transition effects. Cause I, I when I download the kits, sometimes I separate the effects out of them and just create like my own effects folder, and I just go through different effects and see what I can use. Most of these effects are like trap sounding effects, and I just add it to the whole dancehall vibe, and you're good. You just gotta know the type of transition effects that you want to use. So, Jamero music, when you're looking for transition, you just have to find the right transitions that you actually want in the beat. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to use a transition, but it gives the beat more of a vibe or more of a different feel. You can use a snare roll as a, you know what I'm saying, a snare roll transition. You know what I'm saying? Entering the beat and stuff like that, and you're good. I just added, like, what, three transitions right here? And they all sound good. This is just my beat type. And this is just... Another beat type. So that's just mostly like, that's just mostly it. You know what I'm saying? So I went over the whole mixing with stock plugins for Jamero beats. The beat arrangement now is what I haven't gone over. But I'm going to explain, I'm going to explain how the beat arrangement goes. Because like once you create it, your, your beat and you have it in your channel rack and everything be laid out here. Right? You're going to hit this icon up here, the pattern option icon. And then you're going to go down and split by channel. So everything's going to split and looking like this right here. If you have FL Studio 20.7 or stuff like that, or FL Studio 20 version. Um, now, what I did when it comes down to the whole the beat arrangement or the sound arrangement, the best way is when you're creating your different, different, um, sounds or creating not really sound, but creating your different, different melodies. You have to know the sounds that you want in the chorus, or the sounds that you want to start the whole beat from like intro down to the chorus or verse or whatever. Because for me, I just wanted the wooden strings and the strings right here with the harsh feeling, and my vocals, just to start and with a little transition here just to start it. You know what I'm saying? And I added the bell too. You just want to have like. A very crazy injury. Simple, but hardcore. You know what I'm saying? That's how you want to set your intro. You want to make sure that intro has that vibe. You don't want a dead intro. It's going to like be boring. You know what I'm saying? Then uh, the second part of the intro, I, I had the 808 there. You know what I'm saying? So that signifies that, okay... Something is coming next. And so the course is coming next. So the whole vibe. So the transition and the the 
the snare roll right here is a whole different vibe because he's telling you, okay, it's a chorus. Purchase today. You know what I'm saying? So for the, the, the chorus now, I had it the universe X in the chorus and the midnight synth sound for the chorus. So this is what the chorus would sound like with these in it. So you have to have like specific sounds you want to say, okay, this sound signifies, okay, that's the chorus. When going into the verse, you won't have these two sounds. You know what I'm saying? And I took a little, I took the hi-hats out a little bit. So this is what a verse would sound like without those sounds. <laughs> saying and you can cut out these little parts right here because i give you know what i'm saying the verse a little spaz and a little vibe you know what i'm saying the energy you know what i'm saying and you can even use one of the sounds from the chorus and add it to the, like the second part of the, the first verse you know what i'm saying give it a different vibe <laughs> I'm saying mostly what you're gonna hear is the top notes for the midnight scene. And in the chorus, you'll hear everything, including with the universe X. You know what I'm saying? That's the chorus. Like, that's just how you, once you get the first chorus and the verse, you just, you know what I'm saying, copy and paste it over and stuff like that over there, and you're good. You know what I'm saying? Like, there ain't nothing much to it. Like, as I said, for the whole beat arrangement, you just have to know the sounds that you actually want to have in your chorus or a specific part of the beat. You got to know the sounds that you want here and out there. That's why you create like counter melodies or different different melodies when it comes down to creating. Adding, adding uh, melodies to your chord progressions and other counter melodies with different sounds and stuff like that. And that's why you have different different sounds when it comes down to creating beats. So you know that, okay, I'm going to put this. In the chorus, I'm going to put this at a verse, I'm going to put this at an intro, and stuff like that. Like, that's just the whole key, the whole thing to just, like, you know what I'm saying, beat arrangement. You can add, like, different styles, you can use effects, you can use, like, like gross beat, and add slow down effects for, like, your intro, and, like, change the whole vibe, the whole mood, and just go into something all exciting. You feel me? And that's it for Jamiro's request. So I covered the mixing tutorial with the stock plugs and the beat arrangement in details as he asked, along with the effects transition and creating the snare roll. So I covered all that and I did for the Prince Beach. So I think that's just it for this tutorial. So I want y'all to, you know what I'm saying? Hit that like button, subscribe, all that type of shit. You know how we do, you know, city guys, we out here. And I want to thank y'all for the support. You know what I'm saying? 400. And what last time I did was at 409 subscribers. Thanks for the support. And keep watching these videos, man. Keep growing my channel, man. I want to hit that K real quick. You feel me? And get that watch time up, man. You know, I got a surprise for y'all when I hit that. You feel me? And feel free if y'all want to collab. Feel free to hit me up. I don't mind. I don't, I don't be like the mother producers out there. Be, you know what I'm saying? Even though I can't really help everybody. You know what I'm saying? But I can do what I can do. For a few, but you know what I'm saying? Don't worry. And I was planning on doing like a beat battle challenge on live for who want to join in. And you know, the winner would get to do like a collab with me or, you know what I'm saying? Other different prizes and shit, giveaways and stuff like that. So thank y'all again for watching this tutorial. You know what I'm saying? Leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know how we do. You know, city guys in the feeling. You know, we out here. Feel me?